This is a correct footage of a hybrid Panzerwerfer of the 21st Panzer Division being demonstrated to Feldmarschall Rommel in the spring of 1944 in France, which fits in well with today's video. The footage I showed a few videos back was actually a multiple mortar carriage. If you're a Patreon channel member, you have access to more of this exclusive footage. If not, please consider becoming one. This is the cover of the periodical Die Wehrmacht No. 5 from March 1st of 1944. The photograph shows a unit leader explaining to an engineer where the mines he is carrying should be placed in no man's land. This article shows an example of the defensive preparations of a probably non-existent 5 kilometers of French Atlantic coastline. Im Hinblick auf unsere starken Anlagen, im Hinblick auf den verzüglichen Geist unserer Truppe, auf die neue Bewaffnung und die Kampfmittel, die uns in die Hand gegeben sind, können wir den kommenden Ereignissen mit größter Ruhe entgegensehen und brauchen uns keine Sekunde den Kopf zu brechen, ob es gut oder schlecht geht. Es geht bestimmt gut und ich glaube nicht, dass der Engel ein zweites Mal wieder kommt. In preparing the defenses of the Atlantic coast, Rommel stressed the importance of taking advantage of what was already present. Built upon a platform of protruding rocks and starkly jetting out into the water, this Fauben fort would certainly receive much of the initial attacking strength of the enemy. Sebastian Fauben was a 17th century French military engineer who revolutionized defensive structures. Referring to his defensive bulwarks was useful politically, as they were built to fend off intrusion by the British. The text states that ever since the British became a world power, the European continent has been under constant danger of being invaded. To build fortifications that would defend the coastline, Fauben developed the concept of the Festungsgürtel, or layered defense, which revolutionized military doctrine. Modern technologies, which were championed by the German engineer Fritz Todt, have been incorporated, for example, the use of concrete. The article now switches to a macro view of the five kilometers of coastline, providing a map and illustration which shows the layers of defense. As we go through the different layers, I'll add film footage which is related to the subject matter. First, we'll look at the Vorpostensicherung, or forward security. This would generally be made up of relatively small surface vessels, like the fast S-boats. Although armed with torpedoes, in the event of an invasion, their primary responsibility was to raise the alarm in order to prepare the defenses. The next line of defense are the carefully positioned minefields. The fuses are set into place. The mines are armed. Based on locations plotted on nautical charts, the mines are dropped into the water in a carefully timed sequence. Here, situated high in a bluff, is a heavily fortified command and control lookout bunker. Building the Atlantic Wall was officially the responsibility of the organization Tod which was not under Rommel's command, but he enthusiastically joined the task, protesting the use of slave labor and suggesting that they should recruit French civilians and pay them good wages. One way that the slave laborers were able to sabotage the works was by adding too much sand to the concrete, which made it quite brittle. Behind and around the command and control bunker can be seen batteries of artillery of different calibers.
Many of the guns from captured warships were removed and placed in fixed defensive positions like this. Because of their range and destructive capability, these gun emplacements were targeted heavily by Allied bombers. To the east, we get a look at some of the obstacles and massive concrete walls that were built on the beaches in order to hinder the enemy's ability to advance inland after making a landing. Behind that, we see the main bunkers of the garrison troops for the area. This rare footage from the spring of 1944 has a runtime of 18 minutes. It was produced to document the readiness of the defenses of the Atlantic Wall. If you're interested in supporting this channel, you can buy the complete film. You'll find a link in the description page of this video. Finally, in the deepest layer of defense, we see an airfield and a massive railgun.